In this lesson, you'll learn how to draw a line with the line segment tool. You'll also learn what a path is made of. If you want to follow along, you can open this document from the practice files for this tutorial. You'll start out by adding some branches and a trunk to this tree. To draw straight lines, you'll select the line segment tool in the tools panel. So press and hold on the shape tool you see here in the tools panel. I see the ellipse tool, you might see another shape tool. And select the line segment tool. Come out into your design. To draw a line, you press and drag in the direction you want the line to go. So move the pointer into the tree shape. Press and drag down. Notice that you can move in just about any direction to create a straight line. Now the gray box you see that shows distance and angle is a measurement label. It can be really useful when you need to be more precise. When the line looks something like this, release the mouse. Now if you didn't see that gray label, choose View, Smart Guides to turn them on. In Illustrator, this line you drew is called a path. A path is made up of at least two anchor points. You can see them here on the ends of the line. And a line segment connecting those anchor points. We can create all kinds of paths in Illustrator. Straight paths or lines, curved paths, and a whole lot more. After drawing this line, you can easily edit it without having to switch tools. To edit the direction and length of this line, move the pointer over the bottom end of the line. Click and drag, and you'll see that you can move one of the points. As you drag, press the shift key and the line will be constrained to 45 degrees. When it's straight up and down, release the mouse button and then the key. Now to change how thick the line is, you can change what's called the stroke weight in the properties panel to the right of the document. Change the stroke weight to two by clicking the up arrow here. Now you'll create a few more lines that will become the branches of the tree. Move the pointer over the line you just drew somewhere in the tree. Press and drag to create a small line like you see here. Draw one more so you have two. Now you'll make a copy of a line and move it below the buildings. Select the selection tool and click to select the first line you drew, the trunk of the tree. To copy it, choose Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste. We want this line to be straight across horizontally. It's going to go right below these buildings. So to rotate a line, move the pointer just off of one end of the line. And when you see a little rotate arrow appear, click and drag to rotate the line. When the line is perfectly horizontal, release the mouse button. Now to move a line you've drawn, you can drag it from this center point. So drag the line down below these buildings. To make the line longer, Drag the right end of the line to the right. You'll see those magenta lines again called smart guides. They're indicating that you're making the line longer. You're extending it. Now you'll change the stroke weight and the color of this line. With the line still selected, change the stroke weight in the properties panel on the right to 16 by choosing 16 from the menu. To change the color of the line, click the stroke color in the properties panel. Click this swatches button so that you can see a bunch of colors called swatches you can choose from, and then select an orange. Now that you know how to create and edit lines, you can practice creating them by adding to these buildings. Maybe try to add some lines to this window, even changing the stroke color and stroke weight in the properties panel to the right.